Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friend. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Come on in here and sit down with me. Get yourself something hot or cold to drink, whatever you might like today. Open your Bible up and let's do a little five-minute Bible study here as we look at Psalm 85. Today we're going to read verses 10 through 13. Psalm 85, 10 through 13. Let me read those for us. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness look down from heaven. Yea, the Lord shall give that which is good, and our land shall yield her increase. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall set us in the way of his steps. Just seems like there ought to be a say there. <laughs> yeah. So, mercy and truth have met together. So, all of a sudden now, we have the personification of these things that he's asked for. Mercy and truth, righteousness and peace. You know, all these things that he's been praying about, God's going to give them, but he, pers- he personifies them. So, they meet and they kiss. So, that's why I call this the kissing psalm. Because this is just a wonderful verse. And so here we have mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Now this is future. He's looking forward to the day when righteousness has done its complete work in the earth. All that has been accomplished. Righteousness now reigns. This is probably a messianic time when Messiah is on the throne in the thousand year millennial reign of Christ or afterwards. And so we have a perfect condition in the land. Now, we don't have that perfect condition in the land today. Mercy and truth have not met yet together, except in the person of Jesus Christ. That's the only place you'll find mercy and truth met together. The only place you'll find righteousness and peace is in the person of Christ. Only there will you find these things, but not in the general conditions and environs of the earth or of human of humanity today. I like what Dr. McGee says about this. He said, mercy and truth haven't, haven't met each other in our day. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. They aren't even on speaking terms today. One of the reasons we cannot have peace in this world is because we do not have righteousness in the world. Things have to be right, my friends before there can be peace in the world. You see, only in Christ can we find these things, and he's going to bring it. One day there's going to be just an overwhelming, an overwhelming environment of mercy, truth, righteousness, and peace. And so we have the personification of mercy and truth, righteousness and peace. They're kissing each other. And then it says truth, We've already met truth there in 10, but now in 11, truth shall spring out of the earth. So now it's like a rabbit popping up out of its hole. So we see the truth springing up out of the earth and righteousness like an angel looking down from heaven. So we have the mercy and the truth, the righteousness and the peace. They meet and they kiss. And then we have truth springing out of the earth and righteousness looking down from heaven Yea, the Lord shall give that which is good, and our land shall yield her increase. Yeah, that's going to happen. It's not quite happened yet. If you go to the land today, well, it is, it's fruitful. And, I mean, you know, Israel is it's the breadbasket for Europe. There's so much of the produce that is, uh, that is uh, you know, sold and manufactured for Europe is found being being grown and manufactured in Israel. So it's good, and there's a promise of what's going to be because all of the land one day is going to be like this. It's going to yield her increase. Righteousness shall go before him and shall set us in the way of his steps. This is what he does for his people then in the future and for his people now as we walk in this life. All right, my friends, I hope you'll join me again next time uh, as we study Psalm 86 here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.